Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I'm here with Tim Winesapfel to talk about his new course that is being launched on Enterprise DNA on integrating Power BI with the Power Platform. So welcome, Tim. Thanks for thanks for joining me. Um, the I want to just discuss the course in more detail and look at what it entails, who it's for, etc. But um, before we get into that, uh, I believe it's your first course, Tim, with um, that's being launched in, on Enterprise DNA. So uh, maybe you could give us a bit of an overview of your experience with Power BI, Power Platform, and and how you've kind of got to where you are. Yeah, great. Um, great to be here. Um, so I have been using you know Power BI for probably six, seven years now, um, pretty heavily, and then the last few years, getting more into the rest of the Power Platform, uh, Power Apps and Power Automate, knowing that there are other applications as well. But um, really have come to love both the you know Power Automate of being able to automate just regular routine tasks. And then building out some apps for you know for some data you know for adding or creating new data, but then with the integration between Power BI and Power Automate and Power Apps, it really just um, kind of discovered like some just different ways and new things you could do with reporting, and with the benefits of you know uh, taking us a report where most people are just used to you know viewing the data, analyzing it, um, but really adding some new functionality. So. That's kind of where I very got become very passionate about the um, applying all them together. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, and I think that that really shows in uh, during the course. Um, so uh, one thing I just wanted to maybe confirm is uh, we've kind of mentioned in the course it's kind of Power Platform as a whole, but what specific tools I guess um, gets get covered in during it. So it's it's mainly focused on Power BI and then embedding um, a couple of some Power App, you know, embedding a Power App into your Power BI report. And we do cover that. And I will say that if folks are new to Power Apps or haven't actually messed, you know, haven't actually worked in Power Apps, uh, I do do a call out. There are um, a couple of sessions. There are several courses on Power Apps that go in depth. However, I think in this course, um, I show enough that to get folks started, you know, so, um, uh, so, you know, it's one of those where I would still encourage folks if they haven't messed with, you know, haven't worked in Power Apps to still to go through it. Uh, and the same with Power Automate. Uh, there are some fantastic courses on Enterprise DNA with using Power Automate as a standalone, but um, I, you know, I hope to show in this course how even folks that are new to Power Automate can get in with your Power BI report and start to kind of do uh, some of these um, some of these tasks with your Power BI report. Okay, great. Um, so, in terms of um, kind of combining those two with Power BI, why? Like, what's your motivation for behind like this course? Why should people, you know, start to use that? How did, how will that like expand there? capabilities with within Power BI? Yeah, so I uh, love the question. And if I kind of think about how I started this, so you're know, doing a lot of Power BI uh, reporting. One of the things I found in some of my day-to-day -day life is I would have a report um, that would have you know information that I'd have to share with, the, with, with users, right? You know, these are colleagues that maybe I, I have a work question. So let's say I have a report where I've got to reach out to to folks in that report, right? And then have to send them. So what I found myself doing, as I think most of us do, is let's say you're looking at a, you know, a report, you've got to reach out to, to folks on your team that have you know, items in that report. So what do you do, right? You email them. So you go to your email, you email, maybe you export the data to Excel, or maybe you're typing that information to your, you know, to your, to your colleague, you know, like, you know, hey, here's this report or here's this information in this report, but you're finding that you're manually typing out these this email well that's where my first start was wait a minute I, I said well you know power automate i can embed a power automate button that i'll select the records that are in my report and then i'll use power automate to dynamically build that email and just send the emails to to those to the individuals and there's all the information it, it's got and i was able to do that so that was my start with with integrating power bi with 
with Power um, Power Automate. And then from there, I started thinking other applications, right? So uh, with Power Apps, that was the other thing that I, I again, I'm working on a, I've got a list of uh, a report, you know, it's, it's, maybe it's got some, you know, some items and I want to add some, you know, some, some data, maybe some comments. Well, I created a Power App separate to that, but then it's like, wait, and then I said, well, I can embed the Power App directly in my report and now I can start interacting, I can add new data. And it just was like a perfect, um, it just was a perfect fit. So that's kind of where I started just by coming up with some kind of regular daily use cases where Power Automate or Power Apps would, you know, would, would fit in nicely. Yeah, and I think um, the, yeah, you're so right. It's definitely everyday use cases because you look at some specific examples, but I think, once you kind of go through the course, um, if I'm not wrong, a lot of what you're doing is one either situation that a lot of companies have or will be in um, or tasks that they'll have that they'll want to kind of automate um, or you have the ability to then apply that to a lot of different use cases in whatever like organization that you work in. Um, so is the am I right in thinking the kind of intention is that if you go through this course um you can look at the examples that you've used but then expand that to and apply that to the kind of problems that you have as well and everyone who kind of goes through it should be able to find some sort of use case where this then becomes really useful where they can automate the kind of manual tasks that they see yeah. And the other thing, too, which I've discovered is when you, you know, if you talk to folks and you say, hey, you can you can integrate Power BI and, and Power Automate or Power, uh, you know, Power Apps. The concept is, you know, it's, people need this. You know, what I have found, people like to see an example. So when you see an example of how you could do it, either a that person, you know, the person has that that need like, hey, this is great. I can apply this. Or the other thing, the other benefit is they might not have that exact need, but it might spur an idea like, oh, well, I didn't realize that now I have this other need, um, you know, refreshing data sets, you know, having a button to, if you have a, you know, if you're doing the, the import, you know, having a button that just does a refresh and other ideas that might spur, um, you know, people's creativity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so speaking of the examples then, um, in the course, you mainly look at a case study and you kind of go through step by step um what you're doing to try to to kind of make that process more efficient um can you tell us a bit more about the kind of scenario of the case study and and kind of how you put it together yep so what i did was so the, the case study i wanted to kind of start with a data set right and kind of put somebody in a scenario as if you were um you were actually in that in that scenario so mine was i found some just some uh, some um, some data on the web around property leases uh they probably it's like they're building leases so you know a typical scenario where with data where you have this was you know a lease company or you know who you would be leasing it to a start date end date you know and i created like a lease manager some of those basic data elements that i think a lot of you know uh, people will do run into with a day-to-day -day, you know um uh, their own day-to-day -day situation, a start date, end date, you know, uh, responsible, you know, people that are responsible for that, 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 that lease or, you know, a project. So I wanted to kind of start with that. And then that way I could kind of show throughout the course, different, um, you know, different approaches using that data. So to me, you know, the thinking is if people can kind of see a scenario and put themselves in that scenario, then, you know, hopefully it'll hope with the course versus, you know, just coming up with some different random data here and there. Yeah, okay, that fully makes sense. And yeah, I, I really like that approach um, because I think, yeah, it's very detailed in terms of the step-by-step -step and kind of walking you through it in a way that means, yeah, you can then either be able to do it yourself or, or like you said, get an idea of um, how you can then apply that to um, something else. Um, yeah. Beyond kind of the case study you also kind of go on to look at embedding kind of power bi reports in like teams powerpoint sharepoint and more of the kind of distribution to user side um like how 
important is also that aspect and how useful is it to you know also be able to kind of explore that as well yeah and that that like near the end of the course and i think you for touching on that so while the initial part of the course is focused on power apps and power automate um i kind of added in just at the end sort of how you can embed power bi into teams for example which uh, you know is so great for just makes it you know more efficient so you know in, in a typical example a lot of folks that use microsoft teams you know if you i wanted to show how you could just quickly add a show a power you know add your power bi report there so that folks don't have to go to their power bi workspace you know to the server you know power bi service just give an example of how you can do that same with powerpoint you know with all the enhancements now that microsoft has done with power bi and powerpoint again it was just sort of just something to add in to kind of show how power bi can be used in other applications and um so i just wanted to give some some examples there as well yeah and i think yeah that's so useful because i think a crucial point that sometimes people miss is you're so focused on that the kind of report itself um and kind of that process of of creating it but then there's a whole other stage of you know how easy is it for your users to then interact with it and see it um and so yeah i think definitely that's that's a really useful thing to to kind of be part of as well yeah um um okay well um thanks so much tim for joining me and uh letting us know about the course and uh since i've kind of been through it myself uh i can say that it was definitely very useful and uh i'm sure it's gonna be yeah really beneficial to uh, a lot of people to be able to explore more of the kind of power platform integrations with power bi so um, yeah Appreciate thank that. You so much for your time well, uh, Great talking with you. You too. Bye.